that? life is you, you want to connect and speak to people and, yeah. and see people and obviously we're a team so it's really important we've got that uh, interaction in terms of young talent uh, in the team um, have you identified some already who are the people we should watch out for there's a number of them yeah. I, I think having watched from afar obviously yeah. been at KKR the last couple of years um, I did notice that you know there is a lot of young talent at RCB yeah. they weren't always playing all the time yeah. so I guess the big thing now is whether they can get opportunities, grab those opportunities and run with it. Um, but there's probably a number of young guys. I mean, young Padakal hasn't played IPL yet, but he had a magnificent season for Karnataka. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where he's at after this break. Um, then you've obviously got young bowler like Mohamed Siraj, who was at Hyderabad at uh, Sunrisers, yeah. uh, has been at RCB the last couple of years. Uh, and he's still a young player. I still think someone like Paul and Negi is still a young player. Yeah. He's only 27. So yeah, anyone sub-30 to me is still a young player because yeah. to me their best years are still in front of them so he's another one Shabazz Ahmed did very well for Bengal last year in all formats so he's another exciting young player um, I'll probably miss someone oh yeah I've missed Washington Sundar who's, yeah. who's obviously been a current uh, T20 player he's only 20 or 21 I think so he's still young yeah. and then you've got Shivam Dubey as well yeah. who came on the scene last year so when you look at it from that perspective there is a lot of youngsters and then throw in young Josh Philippi as well who's yeah. an outstanding any young talent for Australia. Yeah. So this is, you know, an exciting group to work with and, um, you know, we're looking forward to getting stuck in now and doing the work. Not a lot of Indian boys have played in the Middle East, uh, in Dubai. The conditions here are very different. Uh, you know, on a regular IPL, Bengaluru is about 23 degrees, 24 degrees. It's beautiful. And here it's 40 degrees. Simon. How? How are you going to manage this now? Well, the big part is going to be the physical side of things. So yeah. that's that's something that's been ongoing as well. So we, we are fortunate with the support staff we've had to be able to have guys training while they were in lockdown yeah. physically. Yeah. Obviously, they haven't been able to get out and do a lot of the running around and things like that. But I'd expect that a lot of our guys are going to present in really good physical shape, knowing, um, I guess, the philosophy here and obviously how Virat is and obviously we yeah. have Basu Shane of being here for a number of years yeah. and the impact he's had. So um, one thing is, is for sure is that the boys will be well prepared physically. Um, the challenge is going to be obviously with the cricket skills and getting those up to speed as quickly as possible. These conditions are different because we play on a wicket in, in Bangalore which is a high scoring wicket yeah. and historically the scores here are, are generally lower so yeah. that will be a challenge particularly for the batsmen if conditions are like that but then there might be other the players in our squad that will benefit from having conditions where the ball potentially spins more. Um, so we'll wait and see. We'll obviously use these three weeks to adjust, but it will be a different challenge for the players.